What's wrong? What is it? How oh, I love being a woman. Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. I had closer friendships with random women I met in the bathroom before I transitioned at clubs because of how open women are than I've had in my eight years of transitioning. Because women are just so much more vulnerable and deep than men. But to have known, and I think a lot of trans men feel this, is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us. <laughs> and to have people want to talk to us. And to have a community. And then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. <laughs> and friendships are so much harder to build. And people are colder. And what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men. All of that's valid. But I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Because this shit is lonely. And I'm an emotionally mature man. I know how to build friendships and it is still really, really hard. Try to think about how you can, in your small little community where you feel safe, can reach out to the men in your life and just help them feel maybe seen for a moment. Or do do little, little conversations to help their emotional maturity so that they can reach out to people. She has transitioned into a man. She even had a beard. Um, and talked about, you know, how lonely it is being a man, how you're seen as a threat and all that, all that stuff that's very seldom talked about. Um, but, you know, I, I hope it's an opportunity and that, that's kind of what I've also been trying to accomplish with some of my videos for society at large to get a more nuanced look into what manhood actually is from the perspective of a man as opposed to what we currently see happening, which is just like an assumption that I would do it better. Anything you could do, I would do it better, right? Um, I, <laughs> I did a, uh, a discussion for this organization in Atlanta, and I asked the famous question that I asked on the channel, I asked the young lady, I was, I was like, what kind of man would you be if you woke up tomorrow and you were a man? And she basically said, you know, I'd just be a male version of myself. And I asked a brother, I asked, you know, what kind of woman would you be if you woke up tomorrow as a woman? And he said, I'd be the opposite of myself. And what that said to me in a unique way is that um, women, unfortunately, are taught to trivialize the importance and the reality of masculinity. And men, again, whether imperfect, we... we tend to have some level of reverence for um, what it is to be a woman. Because again, most men are saying I would be opposite, which means that I recognize the gaps that I have as a man that a woman would fill. Most women are saying I would be the same, which means that whatever skills I have, if I take that into masculinity, I would be just as successful, which is a trivialization of what being a man truly is. If you want to see more of this, please click that like button. It helps tremendously. And share this to somebody you think would gain value from the message. And hit that subscribe button as well. Peace out, y'all.